I begin with this little little leak. A demonstration is from a song from Angra called uh, it's re how, do, how is it called again? Rebirth, I think. Yeah. And uh, I did so so that you could see that you don't have to kill yourself in order to do high notes. It doesn't have to be struggle. It takes effort, of course, good support and everything else, but you don't have to struggle with it. And I'm going to give you a, a little tip to help relax one of the most important aspects that's related to high notes and tensions when we try to do them. One of the things that get in the way. And it's not that difficult to get rid of it. And I made videos in the past that address it. It's jaw tension, of course. And there are a lot of videos that talk about it and they get, give, you, give you ideas to relax it. For example, there's Murnell Sample videos, you know, hang it is, which does the exact same thing, you relax the jaw. Uh, but I'm going to give you another reference that I find very useful and I thought about it these days. It's not something miraculous. It's just a different way to approach the same, but it's very effective because it can transform it into uh, a kind of humming exercise. And here is the deal. So let's say, place your hand in front of your face, right? And blow air at it. So you're just going to go like... Right? Like you're whistling or something like that. Just round your lips and... Okay. So you're directing the air forward in your hand. Now, keep your head looking at the same direction. And lower your head like this. And try to follow uh, the stream with the stream of air. So... And notice what your jaw does, does when you do this. So, there it is, right? So, uh, of course, this is not very, does not sound very interesting right now, right? This, does, this really isn't, it really isn't a very uh, appealing sound to be like this all the time. Right? It's not the point. You're not going to be singing like this all the time. But, when you do this, the jaw effectively relaxes. <clears throat> backwards and what you can do is like begin the air right and with this idea you start humming I suggest that you use think of the sound of a ship horn you know And relax as much as you can into it. It's important when you, of course, when you do this, if you try to, to go like, it won't help you very much, but try to do, try to just think of the stream of air and try to do it as relaxed as you can. And after you get that going, then you observe what's going on. Look at yourself in the mirror and etc. And this is something that you can see uh, if you lo look at Dio and Fred Mercury, which are two singers that were really good at the high range. You can see that they do did this a lot uh, in their singing. Not all the time, and that's not the point either. It's more to get used to the position, but they did that, and it, it's really helpful. After you do that, play around. can do whatever you want and find out how it feels like to keep that more relaxed jaw idea. This is very important to keep forward placement or that ringing quality. For example, if you're going to sing something from Black Sabbath, you know, in the misty morning on the edge of time, we lost the rising sun is a final sign. If you want this, ah! and you project your job ah, you lose the, the edge and the bite on the, on the sound okay so and it's kind of antagonic because on one hand you have to think forward and keep the pressure because 
that's what you feel it feels like actually uh, I know there's a lot of people that say, oh, everyone feels their voice a little bit different. No, it, when you do this correctly, you're going to feel it very strongly forward. There's no other way around it. If you're not feeling that, you're probably doing it quite wrong. Uh, but in one hand, you have to direct the sensations forward, feel the pressure and the resonance forward, but you have to keep your jaw backwards. And uh, those things are antagonic. So you may try to do one thing and... <laughs> You know, stranger, you're gonna be thinking like this. That's not really a good idea. Uh, so you have to. It's very important to to perceive these different things, especially when we are working with focus and forward placement and getting the edge on the sound, etc., etc. It's really important to keep this going, and it really makes everything much more, much easier to deal with. Okay, I hope it helps you. Uh, it's no big secret, again, it's not going to solve all your problems, but probably it's going to help you a little bit. This is one of the things that I do when I'm on a band and someone is doing the back vocals and they are, you know, struggling to do it. It's one of the ways to, you know, okay, just do this, now sing with more of that position usually helps a little bit. You will not become Pavarotti because you're doing that, you won't. It won't solve all your problems. Will also not. It will not teach you to do what I did on the beginning. But it's part of what you need. And if you can get this part, this little piece going, it's already better than not doing it. Because there's a lot of people that don't do it and struggle with that. And try. If you just try to go high and keep forcing yourself and you know, trying to uh, fight. To, to punch the brick wall until it breaks it, it just doesn't doesn't work. So try to take care of that. Uh, I hope it helps you. See you.